Hey, what's up guys? Eddie Martinez here with Recording Radio and Film Connection. And in this video series, we're going to go ahead and cover all the things that you need to know about social media and how to make great connections. So to kick off this series, we're going to go ahead and create an email and we're going to learn how to create an email which is going to properly convey exactly who we are, what we're about, and something that's going to look great across all social media platforms. Let's go ahead and begin. Okay, before we begin creating anything, first you need to ask yourself, why are you creating this at all? Well, is it just for fun or maybe for something more? Perhaps it's to help you promote yourself in some way, maybe as an engineer or a filmmaker, or a radio engineer or talent. Once you know what your reason is, coming up with a name to use across all social networks actually becomes pretty easy. If you want to keep it simple across all social networks, just use your first and last name followed by what you want to be known for. For example, you could use something like johnsmithmusic at gmail.com, or perhaps johnsmithfilms at gmail.com. Now if those are taken, you could use something as simple as johnsmithrecordings at gmail.com or maybe even johnsmithflicks at gmail.com. Just remember you want to keep it relevant because you want to use this name across all social media platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and many other networks. Now if you already have a strong name and you've been using it for a while, then you might want to stick with that unless it doesn't really identify with what you want to be known for across your social networks. Now one more good tip before you begin creating anything is to just make sure that that name is not already in use because this can of course cause you know legal problems and to a lesser extent it could send people who are looking for you somewhere else. Now let's go ahead and begin creating our Gmail account. Now you might be asking yourself why would I create a Gmail account opposed to a Yahoo account or maybe a Hotmail account or something like that. Well that's because with Gmail you're also setting yourself up for easier access to starting a Google Plus account, a YouTube account, and also you know easier access to Google Documents as well, which is very handy for networking. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and type in Gmail on a Google search right here, and we're going to create a brand new account. Now, once you begin creating your account, it's actually the same old uh, you know uh, process that you would be used to when you create accounts uh, for an email. So you just type in your first name, your last name, and of course all the necessary information that it requires right there. If it asks for your phone number, just uh, don't be afraid. Just go ahead and type in your phone number. It's uh, not a big deal. What they'll do is they'll shoot you a text just to make sure that you're not a spammer or bot or something like that. Now once you're officially logged in, your page looks something like this. Now what's great is that uh, Gmail actually gives you a step-by-step -step kind of walkthrough of all the features. And one of the really nice things that Google does as well is that it lets you import other email contacts. So uh, this could be very useful so you don't have to you know, go through the whole trouble of you know, relocating all these contacts. So I'm using another email that I use all the time and I'm going to be porting over all those contacts uh, so that I don't have to do this at a later time. Makes things a lot easier, of course. Uh, one thing you got to remember, though, is you have to have your password ready, uh, as it is going to ask for that. And it, what essentially does is uh, Google will go to that account and it's going to port over all that information. In fact, before it does that, it'll give you a couple of you know tick boxes there with some options on what you want to go ahead and carry over from your other e email address that you have. And then from here, all you want to do is hit OK and we're pretty much done. Now remember, we're not going to really go over all these features for this video. The whole purpose of this video is to go ahead and create a new email address that's going to work really great with your social media networks. Tune in for our next video where we're going to cover how to set up a Google Plus account and of course its features and benefits. I'll catch you guys next time.